Hello everybody, this is Not a Crypto Expert chiming in with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to go over the Nano Ledger S firmware update. But before I get into the topic for today's discussion, let me go on ahead and drop the bumper. Please click on the like button if you're on Facebook. Make sure that those notifications are turned on. If you're on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure the post notifications are turned on. If you're on IG, make sure you give me a heart. And make sure that you follow if you are on Twitter make sure that you go over and you click that follow button and I would love a comment just to let me know that you are not a bot all right so on to the topic for today which is updating my nano ledger s and the first thing that I want to do is open up the software which is already opened up after the software has been opened up I'm gonna plug my device in all right so after I plug the device in it prompted me for my pin code, which I went on ahead and I typed in. I authenticated the device. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on open manager and there's one of two ways I can get there. I can I get there by clicking on this button right here or also clicking on manager on the left hand side. Either one will take me here. And it's going to prompt me to unlock the device. Now it's asking me to allow the ledger manager. So I just press the uh, button on the right for the check mark. And it brings me to my dashboard. Now this is a, a clean nano, so there's nothing on here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on update the firmware. And as you see, I'm on version 1.4.2. So What's currently available is version 1.6.0. So clicking on update firmware. And there is a link to the step-by-step -step guide. It's giving you a warning. Make sure that you've got your 24 word recovery phrase written down as well as some release notes. The main thing on this right here is making sure that you have the recovery phrase which i do so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to select this option i'm going to press continue right now it's letting me know that any apps that are currently installed on the device will be deleted so if you have um, some accounts or some apps on here that you don't feel comfortable with deleting right now you want to click the update later option i don't there's nothing on here as of right now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press continue. And right now it's pulling the firmware update from the internet. And on my device, it's saying processing right now. Fairly quick process so far. So now what I need to do is verify that this right here also appears on my nano which it does and there's also a um it's it's going back and forth saying um that the identifier with those numbers as well as update firmware with a uh, check mark on the right and x on the on the left I'm just gonna as well as the uh, version number for the firmware update so i'm gonna go ahead and press the button on the right for the check mark to verify and now it's asking me for my pin code which i am typing in I guess I'm not really typing, but I'm inputting in. And now I've got the uh, the Nano logo on my device, and there is an update icon. It's finalizing the update. All right, so after I've identified the um, code that appeared on my screen, as well as on the Nano Ledger S, what I have to do now is disconnect the USB cord uh, from the device itself. So I'm removing that now. And now I press and hold the left button while I connect the USB until I get the, uh, the bootloader screen. So I'm doing that now. And I got the bootloader screen. All right, and it actually says bootloader.
and it's going through fairly quickly. I mean, this should not be a uh, very lengthy process. And the reason why I'm doing this is there are some coins that I would like to move over to my wallet. Or one of the reasons why I'm doing this is there are some coins that I want to move over to my wallet. And unfortunately, they are not available on the uh, current version of the Nano Ledger S firmware that I was using. It required an update. And it had been some time since I had uh, performed a firmware update. So I figure what better time than the present? All right, the firmware update is completed, and now I am receiving a. Uh, it's asking me for my my pin code. It's asking me to reauthenticate, and the uh, I noticed that the screen for the authentication is different than it was on my uh, on the older version of the firmware. There's a little bit more color. Not really anything that's just too different just there's a there's a background for the uh, for the pin code so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to type in the pin code to authenticate my device which I've done I'm gonna press close and I am now should be good to go um, it's asking me if I would like to allow the ledger manager all right so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to press the button to allow the ledger manager to connect to the ledger live software and i noticed the first thing is the uh, the check mark is now on the left hand side so i'm going to press the button on the left to authenticate actually i take that back i had to press both buttons if i uh, press the button on the right it took me to a screen that says uh, deny the connection so i just had to press both buttons to confirm the authentication between the device itself the other nano ledger s and the ledger live software so as you can see now i am completely up to date with the ledger live uh excuse me with the uh, nano s firmware version i'm on 1.6.0 so now i can install really to be completely honest i, I needed this to install the uh the binance chain i've got some uh, bnb tokens and i wanted to store them on my nano s so with that being said folks i hope this video was helpful i hope that you're having a great morning a great afternoon and an even better evening